Hi, so today we're going to talk about cognitive distortions. What is a cognitive distortion? Simply put, a cognitive distortion is our mind's way of convincing us of something that is not true. They are inaccurate and oftentimes they are negative. If we allow ourselves to sit in cognitive distortions, it can increase the likelihood of us feeling depressed and anxious. Here are some of the most common cognitive distortions that we all have been guilty of participating in. The first one is filtering. Filtering is described as taking negative details and magnifying them, dwelling on one bad detail that has happened instead of being able to focus on the overall picture, which in most times have been something that is positive. The next one is black and white thinking or all or nothing thinking. These, when, pe when a person does this, they live in extremes. It's either this or that. There's no room for gray. The next one is overgeneralizing. If something bad happens once, it'll continue to happen. If I got a bad grade once in a class, then I'm a failure and I'll never be able to get good grades again. The next one is jumping to conclusions. And we're all famous for doing this. When we jump to conclusions, we're trying to predict how someone may feel about something or how they may react. We're engaging in fortune telling. And as we all know, Ms. Cleo was not real. The next one is personalization. This literally, this person takes everything personal. When in fact, everything that someone does isn't something that they're out to get you about. The next one is blaming. In this one, we hold other people accountable for our emotional pain, which we all know. I am responsible for how I feel and how I decide to react to a situation. And the next one is the shoulds. The shoulda, coulda, woulda. Had I known this, I would have done this one. I should have done this different. These all lead to emotional distress. So there are several ways for us to work against cognitive distortions. The first step is to identify what the cognitive distortion is. What am I doing right now? How am I reacting to the situation? The next is to challenge the evidence. Put out thoughts on trial. Just because it is a thought does not mean that it is fact. The next thing is to think of shades of gray. The world is gray. There oftentimes are no black and white. We can often find times when there are situations that we can say are black and white, but when we sit and think about it, and challenge the facts, we can recognize that it is gray. I hope that this was helpful. Thank you.